Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero! And this week the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of super space travel! Just imagine what we could do! Travelling from planet to planet, solving problems and defeating space baddies! Ooh, and we could all form a space superhero team! What about the science superpowers of the solar system? We would have a cool team logo and our headquarters would be on a space station. And then we could all meet up once a month for space pizza. Mmm, space pizza. Hmm. First, we need to figure out how we get into space. And I'd say the most common way to do that is, well, to use a rocket, a space rocket. Because when a rocket takes off, it's going to need to create the force of thrust to push itself up into space. You might remember that we talked about thrust already when I was trying to get the superpower of flight. Thrust is a pushing force and when rockets take off, they create their thrust with a huge control explosion. And then a release of pressure at their back end actually forces them to go upwards. A bit like Nano Nano Girl after too much cheese. Stinky. I think my lab is a little bit too small to fit a whole rocket in, but I do have an experiment which uses a release of pressure to launch something into the air. You will need an empty plastic bottle, like a large soda bottle or an empty milk bottle, something round to draw around like a small bowl, a piece of paper, scissors, a pencil, a ruler, and some sticky tape. So you're going to take your bottle and make sure you take the top off, you're not going to need that. And then take your paper and draw, using the bowl, a circle around it. Try and keep your circle all the way at the top of the paper, because you will need the other part of the paper for something else. And then I'm going to fold my piece of paper like this, so the bit that doesn't have the circle on is folded there, and then I can cut that bit out because we're going to need that rectangle of paper later and then we're going to cut out our circle. Okay, then you're going to fold your circle in half so you have a crease and then cut down that crease so you've got two semicircles. Now get some tape ready and you're going to hold this semicircle so the horizontal or the flat line is at the top and then you're going to roll your cone over like this, making sure that there's no hole in the top there if possible, and then tape it sealed. So we've got two of these, so we might make two little cones. Again, roll it over. And then feel free to decorate these however you wish, depending on what you want your rocket to look like. And so what I've been doing is taking some of the leftover paper from my circle, you can cut out some shapes, and then you can actually decorate your cones however you like. Here we have my rocket rodent. I've just cut out some little ears here. And my nano rocket. And I've cut out some fins there. So we're going to leave those here. Next, you're going to take your leftover bit of rectangle of paper and you're going to roll it around the opening on your bottle to make a straw. And then when it's the right size, I'm going to tape it. Now you want to seal this whole tube with tape to make sure that no air can get in through the side of the tube. And next you're going to take your ruler and you're going to measure halfway down your tube. So my tube is about 21 centimetres, so half of that is 10 and a half. You're going to draw a line with your ruler that's horizontal down that middle mark and then you're going to go 90 degrees and do one across. Now you want to split one of these triangles here about in half if you can. So I'm going to judge where I think that is. I think halfway through is about there. We're going to cut straight across that line and you're going to end up with two pieces that look like this. Now this is what we call a mitre cut. And what we're going to do is take one of the pieces, we're going to turn it upside down, we're going to rotate it this way, like that, and we're going to seal with some tape the two of these joints so that no air can get in. So we're going to tape those two together. Okay, so now we've got this, this angled joint here with some tape around the side, making sure no air gets in. We're going to attach this 
to the end of our bottle with enough tape that no air can get in through there. Okay, so this is going to be our rocket launcher. Now you want to make sure that your rocket launcher stays still on the table so you can either blue tack it to the table or I'm going to put some tape down so it doesn't roll away. And we're going to keep our bowl close by because this is going to be our catcher. Okay, time for the moment of truth. Let's see if this bottle launcher can fire somebody into space. And for this, I'm going to need my teeny teeny test pilot, Nano Nano Girl. Ta -da! Are you ready? Okay, so on behalf of planet Earth, I would like to thank you for volunteering for this dangerous mission. What was that? You didn't volunteer. Uh, I just pulled you out of my pocket. Hmm, that's kind of a fair point. Well, will you do it anyway? She says yes. She's very brave. Okay, so we're going to attach Nano Nano Girl to our nose cone. Let's put her on this one and see what happens. And we'll see if we can launch her. Here we go. Nano Nano Girl, are you ready to launch? Let's commence the launch sequence. Initiate. Initiation. Launch. Prepare for blast off. In three, two, one. Oh. Uh, yeah, that definitely worked. That was an amazing takeoff. She didn't land anywhere near the landing bowl, so maybe not quite the crash landing. I guess we need to practice our, our launches. Why don't we try with a, a rodent, rocket rodent. And our rocket, go. Well, you'll definitely be getting a medal of bravery, Nano Nano Girl, for flying in our space launcher. Um, what's that? You'd rather have a cookie? Well, I think we'd all rather have a cookie. So anyway, have fun with your bottled rocket launcher. If you can get it to land in your bowl, you might want to compete with your family to see who can get the most in the bowl. And I will see you tomorrow for another space superhero science experiment. Uh, I'd better go and get Nano Nano Girl and, uh, and maybe bring her a cookie. Maybe I'll get myself a cookie. Hmm, cookies. Bye.